Okay, so uh, here is a uh, battery pack. It's about 30 amp hours, very low impedance pack using um, these lithium polymer pouch cells. Um, it's uh, about 100 volts. So I'll just uh, measure the voltage here and 107 volts. So um, people often wonder what's so special about DC contactors. Um, the special thing about DC contactors is that they're designed specifically to break DC arcs. So what I've got here is a giant resistive load. Well, it's not that big, but um, it ends up being about an 8 or 9 amp load, which when connected to the uh, battery here um, uh, represents a good sort of 800 watt load. So this is what happens when you connect it and disconnect it. Um, without any fancy switching gear and um, heats up okay it's probably a good 9 amps going through there starting to get warm but watch what happens when I disconnect it it's a giant spark which if I was uh, any way inclined I could draw out some pretty significant sort of a load there so um, what do we do with DC contactors? Well, they've got magnets built into them. And the magnets literally create a, a magnetic wind which blows out that arc. Um, as you know, any current will be affected by a magnetic field. And um, uh, if you use a magnet in the way, then you can actually deflect that spark or the arc and, um, and extinguish it. So I'll try and demonstrate that. Uh, I'll just set up the camera and we'll get that going. Okay, so I've just set up a little wooden block here to support a magnet. And uh, so what's going to happen when I connect this load is that the uh, spark will be somewhat extinguished. Now you might see the magnet jump a little bit because there's uh, a current flowing and that causes it to deflect. But um, we should still see a bit of an effect. Here we go. There's that deflection I mentioned. But now when I disconnect it, it very quickly extinguishes that spark if I get a good touch. Now compare that to without the magnet and you end up with a very sizable arc. So that's how contactors manage DC arcs and um, when you consider that a converted vehicle might have a 144 volt battery pack and it's running a resistive load to um, uh, heat the, the water for the heater core uh, and you're switching that, you need to use an appropriately rated DC contactor um, and that will that will manage that arc uh, in exactly the same way but probably a little more scientific than just a block of wood and a magnet but anyway, that's how uh, DC arcs are stopped. Thanks for your time.